prevent the animals from releasing eggs. From Dr. Timothy Kasule, an embryologist based at the National Livestock Resources Research Institute at Nachesesa Namurongeni Wakiso District, is one of the few Ugandan experts in animal embryo transfer. In a nutshell, we collect semen from very good bulls and then we pick our oocytes from our local animals here. We go into the lab as we shall see and we do in vitro fertilization and we transfer the embryos. So it holds in place and it will be there until we hold on this and we can pull it out. If we can't, if we don't, then it will stay in place uh, for all that time. So that is how we insert the suppository. According to the scientist, the eggs from an animal are removed from the donor cow's ovary before the ovary naturally releases them. According to the scientist, the advantage of this technology is that unlike with the natural fertilization process of a cow, which may produce one calf per year, using in vitro fertilization IVF technology, about 100 calves can be produced by different cows in a year, as long as the insemination process is successful. I am able to pick 100 cows, 100 eggs from one cow. Now when I bring these eggs, I fertilize them with a good semen from a good bull. And then I give you an embryo with the superior characteristics of that one cow. So we, we want an animal that will have less health challenges so that we don't overtreat it. Because when we overtreat, then we will have a lot of drug residues uh, in the mills. Currently, livestock farmers spend millions of shillings to import good cattle breeds. But the narrow scientists are now confident that they now have capacity to supply over 4,000 embryos per week farmers at a cheaper cost. Yes. What can it solve? Can it solve the high cost of importing live animals? Okay. I won't say a policy gap it can. Yes. But if I said now, mm. no more importation. The cost of an imported embryo currently mm. is 500 US dollars. Mm. But our production cost here is 100 mm. US dollars. Mm. So by a farmer getting an embryo from us is saving 400 US dollars. Uh, rolling them out at 100 being a government project. Because the, the, the technology is still in its infancy uh, in the country and actually even internationally. You don't have uh, more than 200,000 animals that have been produced by this technology. So the idea is to breed disease resistant cattle from local cattle breeds and the exotic breeds capable of providing high yields of milk and beef. This innovation was unveiled to the Agriculture Minister Frank Atumwebaze during a recent visit to assess the scientific innovations at the Institute. Jingo Francis, NTV.